Little Booties Matter. You know what I'm saying? That's what we doing right now, Little Booties Matter. My old butt was, it was awesome. Like, I was the life of the party. My old butt, I got a lot of attention. <laughs> it helped make me who I was. But I also had some things about my old butt that I wanted to change. Well, I wanted to have the surgery to reduce its size because I had illegal butt injections so long. Normally this thing migrates to other places. Plus a lot of pain. A lot of people had a lot of fun with my old booty. I'm not that person anymore when I got it. I made a lot of people feel good with my old booty. It made people day just to be looking at my old booty. Having the surgery was an easy decision. I've been thinking about it for a very long time. Before social media was popular, back in 2007, 2008, I was looking for a doctor to remove it. This is how big my butt used to be. This much ass is gone. I was 59 inches and now I am 48 inches. The surgeries I had were to remove my butt injections. They're called bipolymer removal. Multiple surgeries to remove what is called bipolymers or black market butt injections. I had another surgery to reposition my scar. I have to spend as least amount of time on my butt as possible. I can't really work out too much yet. I'm really ready to move forward and have my reconstruction in a few months. You look so good. Heart eyes emojis, looking good. Transformation on point, thank you babe. You look much better, imperfections are perfections. Since my transformation, I have definitely been getting a lot of positive comments. I'm not gonna lie about that. My old look, I did not get so many positive comments. I am trying to be a little healthier since my surgery. Back in the day, getting black market butt injections, that was more of an underground thing. There was no mention of Brazilian butt lift or fat transfer. Doctors were not doing that. I can't say it was a mistake. That was just my story. I have no regrets. Today, my friend is coming over and we're about to go shopping. Yeah, I'm trying to switch up my dress code a little bit. So we're gonna see what they got. Oh my gosh, hey! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. What have you been doing, girl? You know, a smoothie, my little surgery or whatever. Valencia has definitely had a smoother transition with surgery. I am not worried Valencia will want more cosmetic procedures because she know all my horror stories. She has had a Brazilian butt lift or what's called a fat transfer. She has just been a great support system. I trust her to help me switch up my look. Help me find some clothes that look good on me. Let's go. All right, girl. Oh, girl. Look at their clothes. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I am. So what about a dress? Oh my gosh. Go that looks dress, so right? comfy, yes. It didn't really never matter to me what size it was, but she looks great. And now it's a little bit easier for her to shop because her hands are big. Her new butt looks amazing. I think that's the best decision she could have made. I love my new look. Oh my God, girl, you look so good. What is what is that? Is that tight? Like that? Well, like these are my compression pants. I have to wear them still like a couple months after surgery. I definitely enjoy shopping more with my new butt. I do have to get used to being this size. I still feel like Miss Miami. Oh my gosh, oh, how does it feel? I feel like I'm gonna have to get this. Yes, yes. Shopping back then was depressing. I only shopped online. Stores really didn't have stuff that stretch to fit all that. Yeah, I'm excited right now. I could go wherever. I am getting more plastic surgery. I am waiting a few months so I could go and get my reconstruction and that is like the last thing I'm doing. Miss Miami's future is bright.